You can save versions of Joomla articles, but have you ever wished you could save versions of Joomla modules? Well, you can, and in this video, I'm going to show you how. Hey there, Joomla fans. Tim Davis here. I'm a Joomla fan too. Thanks for tuning in to Maintenance Monday number 232 here on the Basic Joomla Tutorials YouTube channel, where I show you my favorite tools, extensions, and tips for building and maintaining Joomla sites. I also work on Joomla sites and maintain them, so if you're looking to hire someone long-term or short-term, even just to get you out of a bind, send me an email, tim at cybersalt.com, and let's talk. Today's video is brought to you by OurSites.Guru. Our sites? No, MySites.Guru. Head on over to MySites.Guru and get a free site audit for your Joomla site. And while you're there, check out the tools and information that will save you time and money managing one or multiple Joomla sites. Use the coupon code BASICJOOMLA. You'll get your first month free if you decide to subscribe. All right, let's turn our attention to the screen and we'll get right to it. So shout out to Rick Spawn who uh, let me know about this. Rick was actually, I just looked, uh, he was on the channel back in December of... Uh, like December of 2019, I think it was, uh, or was it 18? Anyways, uh, showing uh, one of his extensions, uh, Image Manager. So uh, anyway, so his uh, Rick's site is r2h.nl. You can check out the uh, extensions that they have there. But actually what we're looking at today uh, is not on his site. It's not in the JED, the Joomla extension directory yet, but you can get it off the r2h GitHub. Now GitHub, for those of you who don't know what that is, is a place where different programmers, different companies store their codes and make them available for people to download or even contribute to. So what you want to do is head on over to their GitHub. All the links will be in the description of the video below and you're going to go, you'll end up on this page, go to plugin system module version, download it to your computer. You'll see I already have it downloaded here. So we'll just uh, save it by the same name. Yes, we're going to replace that and then head to your Joomla 4 website. When you are there, you want to get to the place where, well, here we are viewing plugins. You'll start out in your control panel, go to system and install extensions. And then this, what you downloaded down here, just drag it up to the uh, upload package file tab. All right, it will go in there. Now, next we're going to go back to system and we are going to go to plugins under manage plugins and we are going to search by the highest id at the top of the column here which i already have showing here and you'll see there we are system modules versioning enable the plugin and let's just check out the options now the options are how many versions of a module do you want to save and you're going to select a number from 10 to 50. all right we'll leave it at 10 enabled we'll save and close now let's see how it works let's go to content site modules and let's just uh, click on any old module here uh, stay tuned just for a couple of uh, tips about about using this that you will want to know after that you should be aware of anyways we're going to breadcrumbs and then you will see up here we are going to save this and now, once you save it the first time, you will see you have this uh, button up here to view versions of what you've saved. And we have this star, which is showing the most current one. Now, why don't we do something here? Let's go down and we are going to, on home, we're just going to turn off breadcrumbs for home and we will save. All right, now, lo and behold, we think, ah, you know what? I wanna go back to the old settings. So uh, let's go back to an old version. We'll go up here click on versions and there you go here's our current one or here is our uh, breadcrumbs one or, or the previous one we're going to select that and restore and watch this setting it will go back to being show and turning it on save and close that and uh, you are managing different versions of your modules now I said there's going to be two things you need to know first of all you will notice that in uh, this versions unlike in the Joomla article versions there's not somewhere here where you can save your um save a favorite version of it so if you um if you uh you're going to lose all the versions after you have 10 or the number that you've set up they're going to get dropped off who knows maybe uh maybe rick and his company will add uh, a way to save that as well also we didn't click and look on info look look 
here's some of just the raw stats of what's been saved about this particular version. You don't really have to pay too much attention to this. If you're using a custom CSS module, you probably want to uh, maybe see what's in there. But uh, anyways, you have that info. The other thing is, is that when you are in a module, you'll see down here, there's a place for a note. If you are using Regular Labs Advanced Module Manager, um, Regular Labs does have a note field uh, that gets added to modules, but that is not currently backed up in the versions of uh, with this extension from uh, R2H. So uh, these versions, you can count on them for core modules if you're using the core module system. Uh, if there's something like Advanced Module Manager or some other tool that you're using that changes the structure of modules, or does adds a field or something like that, you want to be aware that maybe that's not being safe, but maybe that will come in future editions. Head on over to R2H and uh, thank them for this plugin. And if you've got some ideas, ask them and uh, who knows, maybe they'll put them in. Anyways, so I hope that was helpful. Uh, it's an interesting tool, an interesting addition to Joomla 4, and uh, I'm going to be using it on my sites. Uh, that's it for today. Uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. Ring the bell to get notifications. It helps other people find uh, the content, and it's uh, generally encouraging for me. Until the next time, enjoy your Joomla sites, and God bless.